Project Joy and Hope began as a small nonprofit, and over time we have grown to provide many services that help families at one of life's most challenging times when their children are critically ill. We found that there were many single parents who often had to make a difficult decision of either being at the hospital with their child or going to work to keep food on the table and to take care of the other children involved. Project Joy and Hope offers shelter, utilities, a community support through volunteerism. We also provide education for palliative care professionals as well as scholarships for children who may be left behind after the death of a sibling or a parent. Because of Project Joy and Hope, I have been able to um, have a better life for myself and for my kids. If any parent is ever in a situation where their son or daughter is with a serious illness, it's good to know that you have Project Joy and Hope to help you and to guide you. If you want to get involved with an organization that is going to do maximum with the money that you contribute or the effort and time that you put into it, you can trust Project Joy and Hope. Project Joy and Hope gave us the, the joy and the hope to move on um, and, to, and the, the message that there is life after a struggle. Our mission here at Project Joy and Hope is to listen, to care, and to take action so that those people that we serve can find joy and hope. The Tulip Project is a place that Project Joy and Hope can call our home. It will be a place where volunteers can come to serve, where families will feel that they have a safety net. We are only able to provide these services because of the generosity of people like the Australian American Chamber of Commerce, the Texas Oil Man's Charity, and other special organizations, individuals, and companies who know that we really do make a difference for families at life's most difficult of times. Times. We're going to work hard to make sure that it goes as far as it possibly can to help the most people it possibly can.